Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the uh, outcome based education channel. Today we are going to uh, learn how to classify the image data by extracting the wavelet basic features. So this is the uh, information we are having. Uh, this is the data airplane and uh, baseball field, basketball court, beach, bridge, symmetry. This uh, information is available open source. Uh, by provided by the UC uh, University of California Merced data. So there are 21 classes. Uh, in each class, 100 images are available. So here we have taken only 10 classes for the example purpose. So now today we will see how to classify using the supervised learning algorithms because this data is already labeled. Labeled means already information has been divided into different classes each class is our each folder okay so this will be worked with the python and we will open this in the jupyter notebook so in the jupyter notebook what we need to do is first we need to load the data so our data is available in this directory this is the path of our directory in the documents ml python and images so for loading this, what we need to do is we have to import the package of OS. And after that, we have a function called expand user in the path of the OS, OS module, os.path.expand user. If you give this function and if you execute this, it will, it will be loaded into the data underscore till variable. Okay. So after that, what we need to do is we have to take all the directories into another variable. So for that, we need to use list dil function. So this list dil function will store all the directory names, all the folder names into the class names variable. So for execution, I hope everyone knows how to use the Jupyter. If anybody don't, doesn't know how to use Jupyter, please comment me below. I will. Uh, uh, put another video for installation of Jupyter Notebook and how to use Jupyter. So after execution of this, the class names will carry the all the directory names. So now I will show how to read each and every image. Now we have read all the directory names into the class name directory. So airplane, basket, uh, basketball field, uh, and baseball field, basketball court, beach, bridge, everything will be, all folder names will be stored in the variable of class underscore names. Now we have to read each and every file. Here in airplane, we are having 100 files, all our images. So we have to read each and every file again. So for that, we need to use one for loop. One for loop we have to use. This for loop will read from each and every directory and each and every file. For that, we are taking three variables in the for loop. One is R, D, F. R means root, D means directories, and F means files. Okay. And from this, we are dividing files and labels. We are separating the labels in one list and files in another list. These are two empty lists we have created to store the file name separately and labels separately. Okay. So this data.dir is already having this folder directory. Okay. We are giving walk function. This walk function will go into one by one, one by one, all the directories and it will read till the end of the file in that particular directory. For example, you observe here, if you run this loop, it is showing in the airplane directory first. It is reading all the airplane one, two, three, till the hundred images it will read. After that, it will go to the baseball directory. Again, it will read all the hundred images in that directory. So a walk means simply you can understand. It will walk into that path till the end of the each file and each directory. Okay. So now uh, from F means all the files from f all the files you have to read so another for loop i have written inside the outer for loop so inner loop i have written so what i am doing if it is a dot jpg file that means i am restricting here all the files should be jpg if you want another one 
you can give if dot uh, jpg or dot taf like that or condition you can use so you can uh, restrict multiple files so here i am restricting to only dot jpg so now from each file i am checking whether dot jpg is there or not where in the uh, all the each file whether it is having dot jpg is exist or not okay if it is exist then what i am doing i am splitting uh, in from the root directory from the root means this entire path will come this entire path will come okay so from this entire path uh, minus 1 split with the double slash means whenever you are getting the slash uh, symbol for separating directory minus 1 will indicate you uh, just before the end of the path for example airplane 99.jpg this is your file name so i need the label names the label names are directory names so the label names are last but one to the slash last but one to the slash so that is why i am giving minus 1 minus 1 means this last but one information to the last slash index okay where whenever you are uh, getting this slash at the end before that information it will take as the label name so airplane will comes under label name baseball field will comes under label name so it will add into the labels list so it is appending into the labels list so each and every folder name we are reading and appending into the labels so files we are appending so this files are what complete uh, this entire uh, path we are appending to the files so the file name and the root path both we are merging and we are appending into the files okay so if you print this uh, files f uh, each and every uh, in the list files each and every file name we are printing with the for loop here so it, it is the files so in the fi uh, files we are list we are having all the complete path of the files and in labels we are having airplane and all that we will see now so now you in labels you are getting airplane basketball field all the folder names so we have to give some unique number to each and every label because in machine learning if you are applying your labels will be like 0 1 and 2 numerical labels we will use Uh, in machine learning training purpose so for that what we are doing we are mapping the classes with the labeled numerical labels okay so each and every label airplane and all we are taking the unique labels because 100 airplane uh, label in the list 100 airplanes will be there 100 basketball court folder names will be there so every label we are having 100 100 each so for that what we are doing we are only taking the unique unique means only 10 label names will come for 10 label names 10 unique indexes we are providing so for that what uh, what we are doing we are applying this code so now you print this class mapping you will get this result like this so airplane is given by zero label basket baseball field is given by one label basketball is uh, given by label 2 like that from 0 to 9 so total 10 folders are assigned with a numerical unique labels so after that what we need to do now you you got the files list and you got the labels so for example if you want to do the machine learning it is a indirect learning process that means you cannot give direct image for the training purpose you cannot give direct image to the training algorithm what you need to do is you have to extract the features for example if you, you are if you are using the deep learning you can directly give the image because it is a direct learning process so for example deep learning is the example based learning but in machine learning it is not like that you have to give the features of the image or features of the object what you are going to train okay so that is why we need to extract the features features are nothing but like uh, sin, uh, like, like uh, uh, what how the color is what is the shape of the object 
all the things we need to extract whatever information we can observe from the object we have to extract those are called features so uh, i'll just give some basic example here then i'll tell different features in the next video for feature extraction what i am doing is i am using numpy and pywt this pywt is wavelet packages it will provide the wavelet packages this cv2 is provides open cv packages okay this three are required you have to install this by using pip install pywt pip install C open cv okay you can use next Uh, for example, I am taking one aeroplane image. So, how to uh, read that? In the files, I am having all the image information. So, files of zero means files of zero index. What is there in files of zero? The first directory, this one. So, the first aeroplane will be read this one. This aeroplane image will be read by the files of zero if you use. cv2 dot im read function cv2 is belonging to open cv and im read is the function to read the any image after that i am displaying here by using the matplotlib packages if i use if you want you can use cv2 dot im show image show but it will separately it will open in some other window if you want to open in uh, jupyter notebook itself you can uh, import the mat matplotlib uh, package and you can uh, specify the size how much window you want to display this image for example if i am using 6 by 6 it is showing in this size if you use some 12 by 12 height and width of the image for the graph it will show some bigger image okay so like that you can show by using the matplotlib Uh, this is the simple example for reading the image so in this video i will only discuss up to the reading the image in the next video i will show how to extract the features using the wavelet package okay if you have any doubts in installation of uh, any package or if you have any doubts in uh, 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 showing the images on the Jupiter, or reading the data, you please comment me below. I will do the separate video or provide the materials regarding. So in this video, I am stopping here. So we can see in the next video how to extract the features.